doing here? I told you I didn't want to be around when you left with Bobby today, and you told me I didn't have to worry because she was leaving early in the morning. Laura, I'm sorry, but everything's gone crazy. Lee is sick, and Jeff and Steve have put him in isolation, and I couldn't leave until I found out what was wrong with him. Oh, no. No, of course you couldn't. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I stopped by the club to say goodbye, and he looked awful, so I drove him right in here. Is there anything I can do? No, not really. Thank you for caring. I like your father a lot, and I know he means a lot to you. Well, listen, there's something else that I have to tell you. What? There is still a chance that things may work out for us, and I won't have to get married to Bobby. No, no, don't tell me that. Not until you know for sure I, I can't get my hopes up again. No, but it could be good news. Your mother is helping me with it. No, Scott, please. Laura, hope is what keeps everything alive. Come on, we must never stop hoping. No. If it comes along, we've got to hold on to it, even if it's just for a minute. No, I've got to get to Dr. Taylor's office now. Look, Laura, I'll see you in a little while, okay? Come on. Let's, let's get back to it. Now, I want you to have another pregnancy test, and I want Gina Dante to run it. What if I refuse? Then I may refuse about a lot of things, too. I don't like your attitude. And I don't like you paying so much attention to Laura in front of people like Dory who know that we are getting married. Well, you better get used to it, because I told you that I was going to go on seeing as much of Laura as I possibly can. Now, are you going to take that test, Bobby? Yes or no? Then the wedding is off. All right. Anything to end this hassling. I'll go and tell Gina now. And I will go with you. Why? Because I want to be here. Why do you fight the hope that Scotty held out for you? Because I could never get through an, another disappointment. Never. But you made peace with Scotty and his plans last night, didn't you? That's just it. I've resigned myself to the fact that Scotty has to marry Bobby right now. And, and that's all I know, and that's all I can believe in, because it's a cold, hard fact. Why do you always embrace the negative rather than the positive? Experience. But your experience could change. I don't think so. All right, let me ask you something. Hypothetical question. Say you finally get what you want and you marry Scotty. Will you still think that you're doomed to unhappiness and disappointment? No, of course not. How can you be so sure? Because then I would have everything I've ever wanted. But what's that exactly? You spell it out for me. Well, freedom for one thing and, uh, love. Um, security. All right, all right, let's take the first one, freedom. Freedom from what? other people's rules. But there'll always be rules to live by. No, I'm talking about the rules that make me feel like a child, like a, like a curfew. And I don't mean this personally, but having to come here and see you every day, those are all other people's rules that I have to live by. Well, don't you think there'll be rules and guidelines when you're married? Maybe, but those are different. Different only that you haven't had to deal with them yet. But if you're with someone you love, then those other things just take care of themselves, don't they? No, they don't. They still have to be dealt with consciously. Laura, you're looking at marriage as a happy ending to a fairy tale, but it's not like that. Believe me, it's a working relationship that requires a great deal of work. You know, you tell me that I'm negative, but I don't think your attitude about marriage is very positive. I think marriage is the best system invented for two people who want to live together and raise a family. But there are built-in problems. No, no, come on, now listen to me. Problems that arise when two people try living together in harmony 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. I mean, there are times when even the most happily married people want to scream and climb the walls. And you have to have some built-in security to deal with times like that. All right, now, you mentioned security as one of the blessings of marriage. Tell me what you mean by security. Um, 
Well, uh, just knowing that somebody loves you more than anything else in the world. And how do you think that would make you feel? I don't know. As if I'm a, I'm a good person. Sort of special. Laura, how many times have I told you that real security, a sense of your own worth, has to come from inside yourself? I mean, you can't get it from other people, or even from someone who loves you. It's only when you can like yourself that you can give your love to someone else. Dr. Taylor, I know all that. Yes, you may know it, but I'm not sure you've accepted it yet. Laura, you know, I, I've seen you through enormous upheaval and change. And you made remarkable progress. But I want to make sure that... Well, you know what you're doing before you take that big step in marriage. Dr. Taylor, I appreciate everything you've tried to do for me. But let me tell you something. If it works out for me, that I can marry Scotty. I'll never need your help or anyone else's ever again. You haven't heard a word I said. Married people have problems, too. That's what I'm trying to impress on you. You don't have to. I see those problems every day in my own home with my mother and father. I'm going to be early again tomorrow, Dr. Taylor, because I only have one exam in the morning. Laura... Uh, you understand that as your doctor, it's my duty to point out any pitfalls I see you headed for. Yeah. But as your friend, I hope everything you want turns out the way it should be. Thank you, Dr. Taylor. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Hi. Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, but I, I don't want to talk about that... Hope you were talking about earlier. All right? What is it? Laura, there's something I want to give you. And I want you to keep it this time. It's, it's kind of a good luck charm. What is it? No, Scotty, please. No, Laura, hold on to it. I mean, you don't have to wear it. But it's kind of a symbol of that hope for the both of us.